So accessing your XBMC through remote control, that'll open up the interface that something that looks like this for the interface and it'll it'll essentially uh, when it's connected it'll show you uh, this kind of by default the XPMC remote control looks like this there's a lot of different plugins uh, mobile applications that have their own skin for this and this will allow you to simply click through and maneuver through the XBMC main interface. And the way to connect this would be to pick up the IP address of your XBMC server or XBMC computer that has it on it. Uh, so mine is 192.168.2.4, which is the local address. And I'm just using port 80, so I'm able to just simply uh, type in the address. If you're using a different port, then you'd have to do colon and the port as well. And the way to find out your IP address is to go to System Info, and from there you're able to see what your IP address is. As well as if you go to Settings, and if you go to Services, uh, Web Server, this turns on and off the ability for the remote control, so if it's checked off, then you've got the ability for remote control via HTTP. So any one that's able to get your address, any computer that's able to get your IP address is able to access it via this way through the ports. And then you've also got a choice of different web interfaces. It's a default one that's XPMC that I just showed you, but you could as well, you could use different ones. As well, you'd have to check off that uh, remote control should be allowed. And this was in the services settings area. Thanks a lot for watching.